Today's, today's topic is going to be, uh, today's topic um, is can two walk together, alright, can two walk together, alright, so, um, Salaki, let me just, uh, uh, so, um, <clears throat> this is the ISEPK, under Commanding General Yohanna, uh, started at 125th Street, Harlem, New York. Um, I'm Officer Tazapa One, and to my left, Trooper Albert. Khan. And today we're going to get into the topic: Can two walk together? Right. Right. So, um, if you'll get me Amos chapter three and verse one, two, three, Baba Kusha. Khan wa Khan. The Book of Amos chapter three and verse one. Hear, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. What the Lord said? <clears throat> hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Right, so the children of Israel are today black Hispanics and native Indians, all right? right? That's who the children of Israel are. And the Lord is speaking to you. Now, what happened to you? Why, why do you not know who you are today, man? A slavery man, captivity, you understand? Rape, robbing, murder, you got scattered into the four corners of the earth, man. All right? You got scattered into slavery, man. You yeah. lost your heritage, you lost your name, you understand? You lost your inheritance, you understand? To the point where you even turn from it, man. You, uh, what does the scripture say? That, um, you understand? You, you, you even turn away from your inheritance. Why? Because of persecution. You were persecuted so much that you didn't want to be, be an Israelite anymore. Right. Then you have children and children and generation down the line. You've forgotten now that you, you're the children of Israel, man. You're the chosen people of the Most High God, man. God. You understand? That's who you are, man. Right? You're not spicks. You're not niggers, man. And coons, man. You know what I mean? You're not sports, Porsche monkeys. Uh... You know what I mean? All these derogatory terms that they call us, man. You understand? We're not that. We're the children of God, man. We're the princes of the power of God, man. Right. Which makes us what? Well, that's not the topic, but makes us also God. Once we come back in our true mindset and keep these laws, man, we're the gods on this earth, man. We're the powers on the earth which give the order on the earth, man, to execute righteousness, man. Because right now, because the, the blacks are, and the Hispanics and the native Indians are at the bottom right now, there is no righteousness in the earth, man. If, if, if the righteous, if those that are supposed to execute righteousness are at the bottom, and then the wicked is also ruling, where's, where's any peace, where's any justice going to come from, man? The peace and justice come from you, black man and black woman, Hispanic, native Indian man and woman. The, the right... The righteous peace and justice come from you when you're keeping these laws that the Most High has given you and command you to keep them. You understand? And you're not supposed to turn away to the right hand or to the left, man. 
but because of persecution and captivity, you've left it and you need to return back to the Lord. If you want true peace in your life, if you want tr true love in your life, you understand? If you want your children to be blessed and your family and your nation to be blessed, you've got to turn back to these laws of, uh, and statutes and commandments of the Lord, man. That's right. And that's a commandment of the Lord, you understand? We're just the mouthpiece of the Lord in the ICPK, you oh. understand, to bring this truth out in these last days, man. Because what happened was we went astray, man. We went astray and we lost our way. You know what it means to lose your way, man? If you're going somewhere, you understand, and you've never been there before, right? Or you're led somewhere and you've never been there before, man. And then the person that you went with got off on you. He left you. Now you don't know how to get back to where you came from, man. That's where you are right now. And guess what? In, 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 from 1969, man, you understand? ICPK has been teaching this truth. Why? So you can come home. Now you know the way. The Lord has prepared the way now. Right. The Lord has opened up the door now. Knock. You understand? And, you sh and it shall be opened, man. Seek and you shall find. Ask and it shall be given, man. You want to know the truth? It's in the ICPK, man. That's you understand? Right. That's where it's at. And you ain't going to find it. No, if you want the real truth, you ain't going to find it nowhere else, man. All right. Um, if you'll read that again, Baba Kashar, Amos 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. This is about you, children of Israel, black, Hispanics, and native Indians. Read on. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Understand that, man. You are a family. You're, you're not uh, individualites. You understand? You're not individual uh, Hispanics, just Hispanics over there. Uh, just blacks, Negroes over here. You understand? Just uh, uh, um, uh, native Indians over, over there. Nah, man. Right. You understand? That's oppression. Oppression has made us separate ourselves, man. That's right. That's what's happened. And we ain't supposed to be like that. You understand? The Lord says, gather thyself together, man. I believe it's in the same uh, uh, Amos, man. Gather yourself together, man. All right? Uh, but read on. Say, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. What did the Lord say? You only have I known of all the families of the earth. And that's what we've never been taught ever since we went into slavery, man. We never got taught. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Nah, man. You know what they taught us? God loves everybody. Right. Meanwhile, they were lynching us up and stringing us up and raping our women and raping our men and raping our children and molesting everything that walked amongst the Negroes, Hispanics and Native Indians. Man. And to this very day, they deal wisely with us also, man. They try, they destroy us in many ways, man. They are not for us. They, they are not for us, man. That's right. And it took me a while to understand that also, man. It took me a while. And, and guess what, man? I'm in the ICPK today, man. And you can only go, uh, uh, you can only get right, better from here, man, so to speak. You know what I mean? You can only get better from here, man. You understand? Read on. Slacky, we'll read that one more time, that bit. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Understand that. God only knows you, man. What does that mean? All the other nations always worship idols, man. All the other nations always bow down to the, the flipping cow. You understand? Uh, you know what I mean? Um, um, deformed human beings. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. They always, they sort of deformed human beings as well. I've never seen that before. It's not normal. Let me worship that. That's, uh. a, that's, that's a dumb mindset, man. We ain't never to be like that. Understand that, man. And that's what these heathens worship. They worship the birds, man. They worship the fishes, man. Fish gods and um, and all that, man. You understand? What else do they worship? Trees. <laughs> you know what I mean? People that hug the tree and talk shit about a tree. <laughs> Listen, man. We respect the most high that made the tree that gives us oxygen, man. That's right. We understand that. But we're not going to love. We're not going to hug a tree. Mm. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, try and save the tree. Imagine you're out there, chain yourself to the tree. You're a dumbass. How are you going to eat? Someone's got to bring you food and feed you. You're a dummy, man. You're like a dog, man. You, you tie an animal to like you. Tie an animal to a tree, man. That's not how you save a tree, man. All right? That's not how you save a tree. But, um, uh, yeah, that's that's tree worship. We, we don't do that. That's an idolatry. Uh, read, read that one more time, Salakia, from the Bible, Kishab. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. The Lord only knows blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You don't know nobody else, man. They're, they're all, all, the, all the nations that worship idols, they always have done, and they always will still worship idols, man. Right. The only time they're going to worship idols is when Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians come into their true mindset and their true understanding and keeping these laws, as and commandments. Then 
You understand? Every nation is going to have to do what the, the, the chosen people of God, which are you blacks, Hispanics and native Indians, they're going to have to do what you say according to this Bible. This is how we're going to govern the whole entire earth. You understand? Right. There's no other way to do it, man. All right, read up. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Because we are what? <clears throat> Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. All our sins, man. Iniquity is sin. And because we have been sinning against the Lord, we've been punished. <laughs> black man, black woman, man. Do you want to know, native Indian man and woman, do you want to know why you're at the bottom? Hispanics, do you want to know why we're at the bottom as a race of people? Read that again. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Because God only knows you, right? Because God only knows you. And read on. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. You sinning against the Lord and he only knows you is going to punish you for all your iniquities. Now, how does the Lord punish you, man? It's not the topic, but the Lord punished our people by giving us over to the oppressors, giving right. us to the other nations. That's how the Lord punishes us, man. God. He allowed, he takes his power, his spirit from you. You you now lose that spirit. And then what? The oppressor can walk in. You don't know when you serve the Lord, his spirit and his angel protects around you, man. Right. His angels, he sends his angels to protect around the righteous, man. You understand the scripture says what? That the, the angel of the Lord encamp around about the righteous, man. That's what you don't understand. And so you fear the oppressors and you want to be scared of him, so therefore you do wickedness until you start to enjoy it. Listen, man, you need to turn back to the Lord, man. Can two walk together lest they agree, man? You need to get uh, get back into the IC, get into the ICPK, you understand, and learn how to walk together, man. Right. All right? Gather yourself together. Gather together, all nation, not divide, man. Read that. Can two walk together except they be agreed? You go read up, um, read up on the top. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Listen, man, the Lord will punish you for your iniquities, so we need to stop sinning, man, stop being uh, living in iniquity. Read up. Can. Can two walk together except they be agreed? So, two can't walk together unless they agree, man. Guess what? You've been trying to walk with your oppressors for far too long. You've been trying to join onto other nations' gods and serve them and bow down to them and you give them power, man. Now right. you can't serve the Lord, man. God. Can two walk together unless they be agreed, man? It's not going to happen. You understand? And there's another precept that says what? Um, if you serve in... Uh, one, um, Salafia... If, the Bible, if you want to get that, if you can uh, get that for me, Baba Kasha. Um, so like, yeah, it's not written down, if you can find it on your phone. Can, uh, can two walk together lest they be agreed, right? One, one man cannot serve, a servant cannot serve two masters, man. You understand that? A servant cannot serve two masters, man. All right. Um, but from there, so like, yeah, if you, you can find that in a second, just right. get me uh, Second Corinthians. 6 verse 14. Uh, but yeah, I can't continue to look that one. Let me find that. Yeah, right. Uh, it's like the second Corinthians. Uh, if you read that one for me while you're there. Yeah, what's the scripture? Hmm? Second Corinthians. Yeah, second Corinthians 6 verse 14 uh, to 18, right? Yeah. What kind? If you'll just read that for me because it's. It, yeah, the precept. Uh, Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. No man can serve two masters. Right. For either he will hate the one and love the other. And guess what, man? In today's time, black people love the oppressors, man. You God. love the gods of the heathens, man. You love to serve, bow down and serve the rock, man. You understand? You love to, to, to go into the Christian church and believe you, you're saved, man. Right. If you just, just to eat, oh, the blood of Jesus and you're saved, man. Nah, man. Doesn't work like that. Read that again, Baba Kasha. No man can serve two masters. He can't serve two masters. And that's what you've been doing. And that's why you've been suffering in the ghettos and in the slums, man. That's right. why we're at the bottom, man. Because one man can't serve two masters. And yeah, some of, you, some of us might have a little change, you know, might have a bit of money. And guess what they do? They floss off on the next. They floss off on the, on the ones that are at the bottom, man. So that shows that we're not in our true state and mindset. And, 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 and uh, uh, you understand? 
on the yeah. level that we should be at, man. Because why? One man can't serve two masters. Them wicked ones that have sold out, man, they're trying to serve the oppressor, man. You understand? So the oppressor give them a little change and, uh, and make, them live, make them look like they're living good. He feels like he's one of the oppressors. And now he oppresses, he looks down on his own. Right. He oppresses his own, man. Why? Because he's trying to sit, please the oppressor, man. And one man can't serve two masters. So they're in the Christian church talking about what? Uh, hallelujah, praise the Lord, I love the Lord, I love the Lord. No, you don't, man. Oh, we right. can't serve two masters. Read up. Kind. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Guess what, man? You hold into the oppressor's ways. All the nations are... The, and, and now what's happened is our people are now turning... Uh, some of them are still in Christian Christianity, right. but, but some of them now are going to serve uh, uh, the rock, man. Going into oh, going into Islam now, you understand? Some of them have got this this dreadlocks on their head, and they say that they worship Selassie, man. Right. They're worshiping idolatry right there, man. You understand? And whatever else our people are into, man, Jehovah Witness and all the rest of it is all abomination according to the Lord, man. That's right. Because what you're doing is trying to serve another master. It won't work. Therefore, what? One man can't serve two masters because he'll what? For either he will hate the one and love the other. Guess the, guess which one you hate, man. <clears throat> We can tell which one you hate because we are we are serving the Lord in the ICPK, man. That's right. So we know when people come up against us in the ICPK when we're at camp teaching which God they love, man. God. You're choosing your oppressors over the most high, man. You understand? And that's what you don't understand. You're choosing to serve your flesh rather than serving the Lord, man. In spirit right. and in truth. How do you do it in spirit and in truth? They've got they've not got the spirit and truth in church. Otherwise, they won't be no the black neighborhood would have a, a strong, solid community and foundation, man. And guess what we come to bring back in the ICPK? A black, uh, 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 solid community, man. You right. understand? In spirit and in truth, man. Why? Because we're rolling in the spirit of the Lord, man. This is where you find it in the ICPK. You understand what, uh, why? We're rolling and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, man. As thus said the Lord, man. All right? Uh, what, yeah, so you hating the Lord, man. That's how we know. We know what side we're on. And we know wickedness is so hard. A rife that we've got to stand firm and bold in this truth, man. Right. That's what that's what's up right now. We know that being in the spirit and being in the truth of the uh, being in the truth and the spirit of the Lord is what being strong, man. Spiritually strong, you understand, and also physically, you know, you get your health up also, right? God. But spiritually strong meaning you're not going to lean to the left or to the right to go and serve no no foreign idols, man. No foreign foreign uh, gods, man. You understand? No other nations, God, man. Black man, where is your God, man? You understand? Where is our, where's the nigger God, man? God. Where's the nigger's God? Where's the God that looks like the niggers, man? That's the God that we're supposed to serve, man. He's right. in this Bible right here, man. He's in this Bible. He's in this King James Version, King James 16, 11 Bible, man. That's where you find the black Messiah, man. That's right. You understand? His hair like bull, feet like burnt brass. That's where you find him, man. You understand? And, and he's in the ICPK, man. This is where the truth is coming out since 1969, man. Read on. Uh, like or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Guess what, man? You hold into your oppressor's ways, the, the, the so-called Christian church, which is the white supremacy of today. You understand? With, with, the, with the white guy, white Caesar Borgia uh, image on the walls, man. Right. You understand? That's who you hold into. And you despising the one true God, the God that took you out of ancient Egypt, man. We just read it in Amos, man. You only have I known of the families of the earth. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, listen, you need to turn back to the most time, man. God. You understand? You've departed from the faith. You've departed from your people. You're hating your own, but you love the oppressor's ways, man. And you need to return. All right? Read on. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. You can't serve God and money. Understand? Because your preachers. Lying Christian church, they've sold out for a price, man. You understand? It's the Bible. Bible says your your preachers are, are preacher. Uh, Salafia, your preachers have been hired, man. Hired right. by the oppressors, man, to teach lies to you. You understand? So the preacher preached for a hire, man, and they can't bark to save you, uh, to tell you that your know, destruction is coming, to give you a warning. Why are we at the bottom, man? Because no one has ever been warning us that destruction... Look, they're trying to gentrify your neighborhood with drugs. We don't make drugs, man. Right. They're trying to give you guns and shit to slap you. Trying to give you guns, telling you to kill each other off. We we don't make guns. We ain't got a gun factory. We ain't got a single gun factory. A Negro can't... A Negro ain't got a single gun factory, man. 
but yet all the guns were in the ghettos and in the slums where the, where the black people are, man, the Hispanic people are, and the Native Indians are. Why? We need to kill each other off, man. And so we need to stop doing those things, man. That's right. We'll come back to the Lord, man. Because this is where it's at, man. All right? In the ICPK, since 1969, we've been bringing this truth out, man. That's when the truth's starting to come out in the earth again. Because you have to understand, we've been asleep on the shackles and chains. We've been put to sleep by the oppressors, man. They've been teaching us and bamboozling our minds, you understand, with all forms of, 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 uh, of, um, of lust, you understand, and all kinds of things and philosophies, man. Right. Which is doctrines of devils. They've been teaching us their devilish ways, their wicked ways, man. That's what they've been teaching us, and we have to turn from that, man. We have to start to love each other again. You understand? Uh, Real love, man. Uh, Reader. Yeah, that's it on that. That's it, right. Indeed. Can't serve two masters, man. So understand that. And you need the truth now. The truth will set you free, man. So honestly, right. if you want to be free, you understand. And if you want to be spiritual, you've got to keep the spirit of the Lord, which is keeping his commandments, his laws, statutes, and commandments. That's the spirit of the Lord. If you ain't keeping those laws, statutes, and commandments, if you ain't got no spirit, you are walking dead. You understand? Uh, Read on. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. There you go, man. So you when you when you walk in, in the spirit of the Lord, man, and those that are not keeping these laws. That's unequally yoked. Be, don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. They, they, they're only going to try and bring you down, man. Uh, they're going to try and bring you to, to do what they want you to do, man. That, that, they're, 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 they're always trying to get you out of the truth. Why? Because you keeping the truth makes them feel so guilty of their wickedness and their wrongdoings, man. Right. That's what that is, man. When they see you doing righteous, oh, racist. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? They, they fling out all kind of remarks, man. Why? Because when you don't eat pork, you look at that, you look at that brother or that sister eating pork, and you're like, swine breath, man. Don't talk to me with your, with your, with your swine breath, man. There's dietary laws that like we're not supposed to eat the unclean thing. We ain't supposed to eat the pig, man. That's right. You understand the camel, the coney, you understand the, the, the jackals, you name it. We ain't supposed to eat those things, man. You, you understand how oppression has, has forced us to do those things, but we have to return from the Lord, man, because the Lord is making a way for us. The Lord is making a way for us in the ICPK. Understand that, man. All right, right. read on. Right. But what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? Right. How can you fellowship with unrighteousness? How can you deal with unrighteousness, man? It rubs you up the wrong way. It, it, if you are righteous, if you want good, if you want change, if you want to better yourself, if you want your people to be better, if you want a better nation, better children, better life, better everything, man, there has to be a change. Read that bit of again, Baba Kasha. Card on card. But what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? So if you're around unrighteousness and you see these things, how are you going to feel comfortable? You don't, man. Card. You can't feel comfortable, man. If, if someone's a rapist, how are you going to feel comfortable being around a rapist? Right. You can't feel comfortable, man. If someone's a murderer, you understand? Uh, how are you going to feel comfortable around a murderer, man? It's impossible, man. What, what else? Give me some, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? If someone's a, a, a drug dealer, how are you going to feel comfortable around a drug dealer? Right. You can't. What else? If someone's a whoremonger, man, God. you can't be comfortable around a whoremonger, man. Right? If someone's a homosexual or a lesbian, man. That's right. Right? You're righteous. Your spirit, you can't be a, you can't dwell with them. I'm not talking about in the workplace and the fact that you got to go and do slaves and stuff. I'm talking about your own free time now. You're just going to go around. Oh, that's my friend. You know what I mean? Oh, that's my friend. Someone's snorting coke or crackhead, man. Oh, yeah, my friend's still my friend. Listen, man, you better be careful of being around those kind of people. Why? Because they're going to bring you into smoking crack, man. Right. They're going to bring you into being a homosexual, man. Or to accept it. Well, oh, you know what? Well, I've got a friend that's that. You know, he's fine. Or oh, lesbian, she's fine. Nah, man, the Lord says don't be like that, man. That's an abomination, man. That's right. Lest they repent, you understand. Lest they change their wicked ways, you understand. And then come into the school and be taught and learn how to be a righteous brother or a righteous sister. Because there shall be no whore, that's not the topic on this today, but there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, and there shall be no sodomite of the sons of Israel, man. 
Right. You understand? So this is how you bring back righteousness, man. Read up. Come on, come on, come And what communion have light with darkness? Yeah, you understand? So those that do such things, which I mentioned for uh, 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 runners up just before, man, listen, that's darkness, man. And you're the light. You're supposed to be the children of the light, man. Right. You're supposed to give wisdom to the, to the to the to this earth, man. So how can you have fellowship with um, with with the, with the, if you're the light, man? How can you have fellowship with the, with the darkness, man? God. You can't, man. You understand? You can't, man. Because they 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 they're gonna they're gonna be like rubbing you up the wrong way, man. It's like yo, it's just like oil and water. Right. The two can't mix, man. The two can't mix, man. It's just like. I don't, I don't feel comfort. As soon as you get a chance, it's like, boom, you've got to get away from them, man. Why? Because they're like a contamination, man. God. That's all it is, man. They're contamination. The whole entire earth right now is in wickedness, man. It's, it's, it's destroyed, man. And it's sad to see, man. That's why the Lord says, go through the midst of the city and set a mark upon the people, upon the men that sigh and cry, man, for the abomination, man. Right. You understand? And that's what we do in the ICPK, man. We go out by the highways and byways, and we, and we cry unto the people, man. We lift up our voice, like the Bible says, like a trumpet, man. And we cry to the children of Israel, man. That's Say, right. turn from your wicked ways, man. You understand? Because two can't walk together unless we agree, man. And it's time for you to come out of wickedness and come back to righteousness, man. You yeah. understand? Come out of Babylonian mindset. That means confusion. And come back into the righteous mindset, man. You understand? Which is the mindset of the Lord. Knowing your God, man. Right. All right? Uh, Reader. That's right, man. Uh, Alright, so that was up to 18, yeah? Uh, oh, so to 18. Uh, yeah. Uh, verse 15. And what concord have Christ with Belial? Yeah, listen, man. <laughs> these, 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 they were mocking Christ one time, saying, oh, he's, he's casting out demons in, in, in the name of Beelzebub, man. Listen, Christ ain't got no concord or no, no uh, uh, dealership with, with, with the Beelzebub or Belial, man. Baal, man. Right. All right? Christ ain't got no dealing with the devil. Understand, Christ's mission was to what, man? Fight, walk, uh, uh, teach against the wickedness, man. Come teach on. against the devil, man. The devil tempted him many times, and did Christ fall? Did, did Christ fall to the devil? No. Christ said, "Get thee hence, Satan, man." Yes, get behind me, man. All right? All this you trying to give to me? It's already, it already belongs to my father, man. Imagine someone come in your house, take all your shit. So like, <laughs> someone come in your house, take your goods, right? Cool. And then turn around and say, hey, you know what? I've got some stuff at my house, you know. Now, killed your dad, killed your, so like you killed your dad, take your stuff. Take your stuff. Now, you was a young chap, so you didn't quite know what's going on. You grow up a certain age now, but you're kind of clocking certain things, right? You, you know, you know, right? Because you was, let's say, roughly speaking, a teenager. Next thing you know, this guy is offering you your stuff, but you already, because let's say you under <laughs> sneak under the bed, blah, blah. Come back out now. You grow up to a certain age. Now you're ready to go go to him, right? And he's like, oh, if you, if you, uh, if you, you know what I mean? If you work for me, I'll give you all this, man. Right. And he's like, yeah. Okay, you'll give me all that. But yo, all that belongs to my dad, man. Uh. All that belongs to my dad. You, t I remember you. <laughs> You think I've forgotten because you know children's got a sharp memory, right? That's my dad's stuff, man. So technically, you want to give me that so I can worship you. You want to give me that so I can work for you. Listen, man, that belongs to my dad. And what's my dad's is? It's mine, man. I'm the heir to my dad's throne, man. Read on. Or what part have he that believeth with an infidel? Right. Infidel is an unbeliever, man. You understand? Christ has no part with an unbeliever. Christ has no part with an infidel man. Cool. Right? Is there more on that? Cool. Read that. Verse 16. And what agreement have the temple of God with idols? There you go, man. One can't serve two masters. That was a powerful precept right there, man. One man can't serve two masters. Read that bit again, Baba Kasha. And what agreement have the temple of God with idols? The ICPK. Since 1969, which has been established, is the temple of God, man. That's right. And what, what read again, Slakia? And what agreement have the temple of God with idols? That's why in ISUPK we say what? No cowards and no uh, affiliation, man. Cool. What agreement 
do we have with unbelievers, with, with, um, what, idols. with idols, man? We ain't got no affiliation or agreement with no idols, man. All right, uh, read on, read on. For ye are the temple of the living God. There you go, man. We're the children of Israel, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. We're the temple of the living God. Understand that, man. And in fact, paraphrasing, know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the Spirit of the Lord dwelleth in you. Uh, right? Uh, where's that in Romans? Somewhere in Romans, I believe, right? The other, or Corinthians, one of them. You're the temple of God, man. And the Spirit of the Lord dwelleth in you. Now, how does the Spirit dwell in you if you're a murderer? How does the Spirit dwell in you if you're a rapist? How does the Spirit dwell in you if you're a homosexual or a lesbian? How does the Spirit dwell in you if you what um do you not if you're wicked, if you're not keeping these laws, how does the spirit dwell in you, man? It can't, man. That's why you need to return and reform your mind, man. Repent, you understand? So the yeah. spirit can come upon you and make a bold, a bold with you, man. The spirit, these words are spirit. When you read this and you understand, say, Oh, right, that's what we're supposed to do. But I grew up thinking this way. Now you got to reform, man. Reform so we can walk as one. You understand? Can two walk together lest they agree? You can't, man. But if you reform your mind and I reform my mind to thus said the Lord, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you understand? Then we can walk in one accord, man. And that's what the Lord wants, man. And He ain't going to stop until He gets it. So you can continue to do your wickedness if you want to. I pray you don't, man. You understand? But if you do, the Lord is not going to stop until, and you're not going to stop until you destroy yourself. You understand? And the Lord ain't going to stop until, until you return. And read on. As God has said, I will dwell in them mm. and walk in them. There you go, man. The Lord says he'll dwell in us and he'll walk in... Read, read that again, Baba Fakir. That was powerful. As God has said, I will dwell in them mm. and walk in them. And what? And walk in them. The Lord's going to walk in them, man. Now, how's the Lord going to walk in, in your temple, man? He's going to walk around in your mind, in your head. How's the Lord going to walk in them, man? Because the Christ, that's what a Christian would think, right? Lord's gonna walk in his head <laughs> or something like that, right? Yeah. How the Christian? Give, give, how, do, how do you think a Christian would, 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 would uh, differentiate that? Uh, it's like it says, as God has said, I will dwell in them. Mm. Uh, that's when you know those those pastors and that they 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 they've been over oh, talking about the Holy Ghost and start right. speaking in tongues and right. And no, of that's foolishness. Nah, nah, that's bubbles. That's bubbles. The, the, the Christian church. It's chatting. Garbage, bubbles, which means confusion. It is confusion. That's right. right. But what the Lord says is going to walk up and down in your temple. What, how you uh, maneuver, man? How you maneuver in the, in the vibe and spirit of the Lord? That's how the Lord is going to walk up and down in, in your temple. Right. Meaning He's using you to operate His will. Go on. And I will be their God, and they shall be my people. He's going to be our God. And they shall be my people. When we return to the Lord, we'll be he'll be we'll be he'll be our God once again. Alright? And we'll stop serving the, the oppressors, man. And the idols and their wicked all the wicked nations, idols, man. And he'll be our God. He will accept us back again. Read on. Wherefore, come out from among them. What did the Lord say? Come out from among them. You're in you're in a Muslim and Christianity. Come out from among them. Yeah, you worship Selassie and whatever, uh, Krishna and Buddha and all that garbage. Come out from among them. Come out from among them, man. Come out from among them, man. Right. You want to put on a kufi? Um, what else do they do? You want to put on a kufi? Um, they want to dress like monks, whatever the hell. They do. Listen, man. What do, read that again. What did they say? Wherefore, come out from among them. Come out from among them. Thus said the Lord, man. Right. I did not make that up. It's in the Holy Bible. That's right. Come out from among them. Read. And be ye separate. Do what? And be ye separate. We can't join them. Understand that. We can't join them and we can't join their God. When we do that, it is a destruction and a distress to our race and our nation. Man. God. That's what it is. It brings death to us because our God gives us life. It's like you know who you are. You can stand right but when you don't know when you, who you are, you're confused, you're, you're leaning all over the place, you're, you're blowing, you're tossing to and fro, man. And that's what our people have been, man. A lot of our people are in the, uh, uh, the Roman Catholic the beads and, and, and the crosses and all these garbage, man. Come out from among them, be separate, man. Read on. 
Be ye separate, saith the Lord. And thus says the Lord. I didn't make it up, man. Oh. Read that again. Ra'alban didn't make it up, man. Sazapuan did not make it up, man. Read that again, Baba Kashia. And be ye separate, saith the Lord. Be separate, saith the Lord, man. Read. And touch not the unclean thing. And don't touch abominations, man. And don't join with idols, man. Read on. And I will receive you and be a father unto you. And if you come into the phone, this number at the bottom here, and you come into the ICPK, the Lord will receive you and be a father unto you, man. Come on. All right. Read on. And ye shall be my sons and daughters. Ye shall be what? Ye. That's like And ye shall be my sons and daughters. You're going to be the Lord's sons and daughters. Now, if God is the most high God, and you're his sons and daughters, what does that make you, man? Makes you gods, man. God's on the earth. Earthly gods. You got the heavenly father, which is a spiritual power. And it makes you earthly. Once you come back to these laws and statutes and commandments, and you live in godly in this earth, you understand? It makes you gods in this earth, man. That's in Psalms 82. You understand? We're not pulling that, but can't read up. Saith the Lord Almighty. That's what the Lord says, man. Thus says the Lord Almighty, man. All right, so from there, uh, First John chapter 2, 15 to 18, Baba Kishar, right? Oh, right. The book of First John chapter 2, and verse uh, 15 mm -hmm. to 18. Right. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. What, what did the Lord say? Love not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. But wait, didn't God say, for God, didn't people, don't people say, for God so loved the world? Is Love. There, is, there, it's like, is there a contradiction with the Lord? Yeah. Or is it the fact that people don't understand what this Bible is saying and how to break it down? This is why you need the ICPK, the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, man. You understand? Yeah. On, the, on the command in general, Yohanan and Christ, man, and the Most High, uh, Yahweh, man. Uh, read that again. Love not the world. Don't love the world, man. And don't love the things in the world. What's it? Read on. Read on. Like it. Neither the things that are in the world. Now, what's those things in the world that you're not supposed to love? You're not supposed to do. Fornication. You understand? Uh, um, lust. Homosexuality, man. Bestiality. You understand? Idol worship. Joining the other nations. Right. You understand? Taking wives of the other nations. Giving your sons to their daughters and taking their daughters to your sons is an abomination man. that's right the lord is against all those things man. all right what else we got uh, if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him so how you, i love i love the lord i love the lord. listen shut your bubbling up man here's the thing man if you love the world and whatever you're doing you eat pork and crabs and shrimps and lobsters and all them bottom feeders man you understand all the fishes at the top doing all the doing all the dirt and it falls down to the ones at the bottom and they're cleaning and and, and dissecting and 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 and, and uh, absorbing you understand in their flesh uh, uh, those things and then you go and eat those things man read that again Baba Kishar. if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him you serving the idols and all the other nations and joining with them the love of the father can't be in you man you want to lean to your own understanding you don't want no one to tell you what to do you don't want you don't want to sell you don't you don't want you don't want the man that the Lord has sell <clears throat> so like you don't want the man that the Lord has sell commanding general Yohanna over you. You understand? Read that again, Baba Kishar. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. The love of the Father is not in you, man. That's what it is. It's not in you because you got no love for your brother, man. Correct. You depart from the faith. You got no love for your brother, man. Where's the brotherhood at, man? It's, it's just one way. There's not many ways. There's one way, man. You understand? One west, man. Read up. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes. Lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes. Whatever you see, you want. Whatever you feel to do in your mind and you see other, other people doing it, you want to do that, man. That's the lust of the eye, man. The lust of the flesh, man. Correct. You understand? Read up. And the pride of life. And you're so prideful to do the fact that, oh, I'm young. You know what I mean? I'm going to flesh out while I'm young because you only get one chance to live. You only live once. That's, that's the pride of, uh, it's like the pride of what? Life? The pride of life. That's the pride of life, man. That's your pride, man. Being young, being young, uh, you know what I mean? If you ain't got the right teachings and the right mindset, man, you'll mess yourself up, man. 
And it's only when you get older now you start to realize, bro, if I if I knew better then, if I knew what to, if I had someone to teach me then, or if this and that. Well, you better listen to sound advice from now, man. While you are young, man. Don't let that pride of your your youth kick in, man. That pride of life, man. God. Oh, this is my life. I live it the way I want. Don't let that kick in, man. That's a that's a that's a wicked spirit right there, man. You know what I mean? That's the spirit of the oppressor, in fact. Because we went and told Eve, you can do what... You don't need to listen to that man, man. You don't need to listen to your black man. You can do what you want, man. And the pride of that life kicked in, man. Read on. He is not of the Father, but is of the world. It's not of the, it's not of the most high, man. That's of Satan. Went to the Eve in the garden, man. Just like today, the oppressor goes to our women. Today, man. Tell them that they need equality. From who, man? From them. <laughs> but they won't say that. And then she goes and follows, get equality, uh, um, um, you know, to be put above her, her man and all that, and all the rest of it, which destroys the whole nation. Man. She don't know it's a tool against her, man. She don't have a, an idea. She don't have no understanding, Salafi, that it's a tool that's used against her, man. Read on. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. See, the world going to pass away, and the, and the lust, all this wickedness, one day is going to be gone, man. Because the Lord is gonna, the Lord is raising up strong black men, Israelite, Hispanics, and Native Indians, all one of the same, uh, uh, men and women. You understand? That's gonna return to the Lord and fulfill this word in, in and fill this earth with righteousness. Man. You understand? Christ will return and establish His nation of people on top, man. You understand? Read on. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. And you'd better do what the Lord says if you want to abide forever, man. Right. That's the point, man. The people don't understand that. You've been you've been bamboozled with 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 uh, philosophies for 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 quite a long time, man. You understand? For, for a long time, man. For a long time, man. You understand? We've been ruled by the oppressors for over over four hundred years, man. Whatever they have taught us, that's all we have known. You know, people go, oh, I've got my own mind, I make my own mind. Listen, man, you could, that is redundant and dumb as hell. You know why? Everything you've been taught as a child, you soak up, they say children are like sponges. Whatever you've seen around you, why the crackhead be a crackhead? You saw another crackhead, man. God. You understand? Why the drug dealers be a drug dealer? Because you saw another drug dealer do it. You're learning everything from everyone else. Stop with the BS, man. Right? People read books. And they believe what they hear on the books. You, you don't make up your own mind, man. That's a uh, load of garbage. It's lies. Because you don't want to return to the truth. You, you, you make up whole load of excuses and, 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 and other things to say, oh, well, a man wrote that book, or I, I got my own mind. And, listen, you ain't got your own mind, man. You're doing exactly what the oppressors do. How do we know? As soon as Christmas comes, what do the same people do, man? Did it, what do the oppressors do? They do Christmas birthdays, Easter, all these pagan things that they do, right? What yeah. do these same people do that says they got their own mind? Sorry. 25th of December, what do they do? Man? They go and worship Christmas sitting around the table talking about it's a family time. Listen, you're following the ways of your oppressors, man. That's Talk about right. your lean you got your uh, own mind. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're just following the oppressors, man. If you're a rapist and a murderer and all those other things, man, guess who you're following, man? You learn it from the best, man. You learn it from the oppressor, man, the so-called white man. That's wow. where you learn how to rape, rob, and murder from, man. And you need to turn. The Bible is saying, turn from your wicked ways, man. And let us walk together, man. Read up. Little children, it is the last time. The last time. Understand that, man. Read. And as he have heard. And you know what? Let me just say, they don't understand that. Because when you say it's the last time, you know what? I've heard, I've heard this all the time. Uh, quite, a, quite a lot of times, man. They say, uh, what do the people say? They say, oh, you know, that, that Bible's been written ages ago. Or, you know, that Bible's old and... Those, you know, all that is old and that's never going to happen. That's another thing. Because they've, they've been into the whitewashed Christian church that's set up by the oppressors. They think that it's never going to happen. And they don't understand that it's been happening. And if you understand this Bible, you'll see that it's been happening and it's still happening. There's prophecies in here that's not come to pass yet. It's not uh, happened yet. Hence why it's a prophecy, man. And you can't find any other book with any prophecies in it. Understand that. Right? This is where you find the prophecies, man. That's why this is the number one selling book in the whole entire earth. Right. Understand that, man. Read on. 
And as ye have heard, the Antichrist shall come. Anti, there's many anti. I was going to tell you, there's many Antichrists, man. It just means if you're against those that are against the Lord, man. If you're not in the ISUPK, you're, you're against the Lord, man. You're Antichrist, man. Because if Christ was on the scene, think about this. If Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, was on the scene, would it be in every single uh, uh, Israelite group? Or would it be in the ISUPK? On the commanding general, Yohanna, it would be in the ISUPK. Because this is the only place that's set up by the Most High right now in this time, man. You understand? It's the only place where you find the truth, man. And real brotherhood, which that's the that's right there. If you brotherhood is the key. Word. That's the key, man. I'm not trying to welcome every single nation in this, man. Nah, it can't work like that. Took me a while to understand that myself. Can't work like that because guess what, man? They're looking out for themselves. I've been around them and I see how they flex. They're looking out for them. And they're using you at their interest. Understand that, but at the end of it, you're going to be weeping and wailing and gnashing your teeth. Damn, if I'd have just listened to the ICPK, man, if I'd have listened to them brothers, I won't be in the situation right now. Read on. Even now, are there many antichrists? There's many antichrists, man. Anyone that's against this, the scriptures, man. Thus, everything in this Bible, how the Lord has brought out, man. You understand? You can't be preaching this bit and then you're trying to twist up that bit. It's got to be. He does, says the Lord. Read on. Well, and, and Salakia, let me just say this, man. I noticed as well, when you hate, the, that they hated Christ. They hated the disciples that rolled with Christ the most. And people are banging against the ICPK. What? The most. Understand that. Read on. Whereby we know that it is the last time. That's how we know, man. And this is the last time, man. Read on. That's it. Come on. From there, get me um, Romans chapter Romans chapter 1. Verse 24 <clears throat> to, uh, to uh, 32, Brother Kishore. Come on, come on. Book of mm -hmm. Romans chapter 1, verse 24. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness. Listen, man, because you just want to continue lusting and continue to lean to your own understanding, you understand? Continue to not, don't, not want to hear the word. Continue to not want to take that spirit. Read on. So like you read that again, Brother Kishore. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness that's how the lord gives you up to it you know it's like you're trying to tell your child don't do this behave stop doing that thing and they just keep doing it keep doing it keep, what are you doing yeah you give up man you say you know what all right boom. give them over to you want to do that you want to sell drugs i told you stop you want to do this and that i'm a hard working man i'm not into that you want to do that you want to continue to, to to be a whoremonger you want to continue to to, do, to be a murderer you want to continue to be a gangbanger all right go ahead Done with you now. I'm done talking to you. I'm through with talking to you. That's what the Lord says, man. And give them up to fornication and being a homosexual and being all kind. Go on. Go and do that then. All right. Let's see how it works out for you. Read on. Through the loss of their own heart, to, to dishonor it, their own bodies to between do, themselves. To do what with their what? To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Right. You're dishonoring your own body when you lie down with the next man. Right? Woman that lie down with the, the next woman. What, what the hell are you doing anyway? Dishonoring your own bodies, thus says the Lord. Man. That's all you're doing with that, man. All right? Uh, bestiality, man. You're dishonoring your own bodies, man. With the beast and all these other things, you know, that, that, you know, that you deal with. Some some instance about some guy with some chicken. I don't want to think about those things, but they go into some guy with some chicken, man. Some, some guy. <laughs> fuck off. Some guys, so like you, some guys, whatever the hell they're doing to a chicken. Come on now. So these are the things that the Lord wants us to not do. Read that again, that last bit where you read, Baba Kishore. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. You don't want to dishonor your own body, man. Bet between yourselves, men and men. Do You know what I mean? You don't lie with, a, with a, another man like how you're supposed to lie down with a woman, man. All right? That's a no-no in the Bible, man. That's a no-no. Uh, that's against the Lord. All right, read on. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Oh, someone said, hey, it's your body. You can do whatever you want. Hmm. The oppressors. Read that again. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? They changed the truth of God into a lie, man. That's what they did. It's your body. You can do what you want. Uh, you can lie with who you want. You can have... Uh, if you want to change your sex, it's up to you. God made you a perfect man or a perfect woman, but he says 
Somebody said, who changed the truth of God into a lie? Somebody said, uh, you can have sex changing truth. You can have sex with whoever you want to have sex with. Or you can sleep with the other nations. Oh, it doesn't matter who you love, fall in love with. Read on. It's an abomination. Read on. And worshipped and served the creature more than the creator. They served the creature. Who's the creature that told them? Uh, uh, what did the creature say from the beginning, Dr. Shah? Beginning of what you read. Who changed, who changed the truth of God into a lie? That's the creature. The creature changed the truth of God into a lie, man. The creature did that. And what did what, go to the last bit again? Who, the, the creature from worship and serve. And serve the creature more than the creator. They serve the oppressors, man. More than the creator. Can two walk together? They serve in the creature, man. Serving the beast, man. The mark of the beast. They got the mark of the beast, man. Christianity, man. They right. serving the oppressors, man. And it and the oppressors change the truth of God into a lie. When uh, there's another precept to that. Uh, it's a while ago. Uh, last year, Satan has entered into the church. I can't remember what I said, but yeah, you know what I mean. And they change the truth of God into a lie. Now they're in the church. Yeah. They're ruling the church. That's why I, I, I praise the Lord for the as he became and. I mean, most like in Christ for the as he became a wife. That's right. Because in here, not, not no heathens can come in. Man. Uh, this is of uh, the Lord. Man. You understand? No heathens can come in here, man. All right? This is of the most high. This is set up by the most high. There's more, there's so much more to it. And the understanding, I'm getting it slowly each time. Man. And, and, and thank the Lord for raising me up in the as he became man. I pray that the Lord continue. You understand? Read on. For this cause God gave them in second. For this cause God gave them up into vile affections. And the Lord has given them up to vile affections, man. Because they rather serve the creature. You understand? They sold out and sell their people out to, to serve the creature, man. Those lying pastors and bishops and in, in all these churches, man, they in the oppressor's house, in the burning house, you know what I'm saying? As Martin Luther King said, you know what I mean? And he's not he, 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 he's done some, 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 you know, he's led the people into the burning house. <laughs> That's why I mentioned it, right? It says, I fear that I've led my people into a burning house, man. Martin Luther King was, was uh, he made a mess of our nation, man. He made a mess of our nation, man. You understand? You can check out some classes on that also, man, in, in, uh, on, with, with Commanding General Johanna, man. You understand? He made a mess of our, he integrated us into a burning house, and then that's what he said. He said afterwards, man, I, I, I fear that I've led my people into a burning house, man. That's what he did. He led us into the Christian church, man. Burning house. He led us to, to join hands with the oppressors, man. God. That's the burning house, man. He he led us to, to read that back the last bit again, Baba Kashar. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. No, the uh, creature. It's the last bit. And served the creature more than the creator. He led us to serve the creature, man. He led us into the creature's burning house. You know, Babylon the Great is falling, it's falling. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord shall, shall burn it with fire and all that brimstone. My Luther King has led our people into the burning house, man. Right. To, to serve the creature more than the creator, man. He turned away from the Lord, man. Read up. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And that's what they're pushing now in, in, in the society, man. Via Christianity, man. Via the mark of the beast, man. They pushing what? Um, uh, lesbianism, man. Homosexualism. They want the children of the daughter of Zion. There should be no whore amongst them. And that's what they're pushing on our people. To be a whore, man. they pushing the black woman to be a lesbian. And the Lord says, there shall be no lesbians amongst my people, man. Wow. they pushing the black man to be homosexual and weak. A weak homosexual. In the Christian, like the Christian churches. And the Lord says, there shall be no Sodom, Sodomites amongst the sons of Israel. See what they do? Everything that Christianity teach is against this Bible, man. It's of the mark of the beast. It's of the creature, not the creator. Why? Because um, no marvel, that's the what I was looking for before, paraphrasing, no marvel, for Satan himself, has Satan has transformed himself as an angel of light. That's the creature, man. The creature is transforming itself as an angel of light, man. 
and has come into the into the into the temple of the Lord, which is you Black Hispanics and Native Indians, man. Come into your mind and take your mind over and give you his philosophies, man, which is Christianity, man, the mark of the beast, man. Read on. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one to another. In the Christian church, to shave off their beards off their face. And it's, it's a commandment that a, a man should have a beard on his face. So long as you can grow that beard, make sure you've got a beard on your face. It's a badge of manly dignity, right? Oh. And what did they say, man? What did the creature say? We don't want to see no no, 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 no beard, man. So I'm going to invent some Gillette razors and stuff. You can cut it all off, man. When they captured us and took us as slaves, man. When they captured and took our nation as slaves, you understand? Uh, and put chains on us and all that. They shaved off our beards, man. We had beards. That was our nation's customs to have a beard on our face black man oh. hispanics and native indian man, man we had that as long as it can grow you're supposed to have that man and, cool. and what did they do man they commanded that we shaved they selected they did command they sh they hold held us down back then and they shaved it off man why so they can we can continue to look like a boy man all right now you see my young that this young man right here you understand he's not not got a beard yet Purposely not got because the Lord hasn't given him the beard yet. If the Lord's gonna give him one, you understand. But the point is, the Lord has given me one, and you can see it, man. Guess what the oppressor did, man? He shaved it off when he had us in shackles and chains, man. That's what they did. That's how they did us. They are wicked, man. All right. And when this young man is able to, to, to when the Lord blesses him, he's gonna have his beard, man. That's right. All right, read on. All right, uh, it's okay. Burning their lust one to another. Men with men. They burn in their lust. That's what the creature teaching our people to be, man. Oh, you can marry whoever you want. Gender, sex, neutral, change, all that, man. You understand? And they got our men doing what now in the Christian churches? In Christianity, doing what now? Burn. Burn. Sorry. Burned in their lust one to another. They're burning in their lust one to another, man. So that's what's going on now in society, man. Now, you have to understand this. This When we say Christ, Christianity, and, and the Christian is pushing that, because the pastors are not speaking against it. If they are of the Lord, you would speak against it no matter what. Right. That's how you know in the ICPK we got the truth and the full proof is in there. Why? Because we're speaking boldly against this wicked kingdom and system. Right? Everything That's right. Is an abom it's a, anything that goes against the Lord here is an abomination. Man. What we're reading right here is abominations that we're not supposed to do. Man. Cool. What did they do? Burned in their lust one to another. Men are burning in their lust to, 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 to sleep with the next man, man. To put his lips on the next man's lips, man. Women are... It's lucky. Women are burning in their lust to, to be with another woman, man. Rub breasts. What the hell do you do with that? I don't even understand that. But you know, you understand that? They're burning in their lust. They're dealing with the men right here, man. Men with men. Read up. Men with men. Working that which is unseemly. Unseemly means disgust, diabolically disgusting, man. It is nastiness, man. You understand? It is an abomination, which means to be aboard. It's, the Lord hates it, man. God Almighty, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, hates all abominations, man. And that right there, that's one of the top abominations the Lord hates the most, man. God. Read on. And receiving in themselves that recognize of their error. Uh, uh, so and receiving in themselves that recompense of their sorry, that recompense of their error which was meat. Right. And and what did they get for it, man? What's the payback for that, man? What's the recompense to be reconciled, the payback? What do you get for being a homosexual or a lesbian or a, a, a beast or sleeping with a beast or anything like that? What do you get from that? Read that, read that again, Brother Kasha, and, and receiving. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which and, was and meat. What? Of their error. What's being a man with man? Error. Lesbian to women? Error. Uh, bestiality? Their error. Worshipping idols and all the abominations? Their error. It's an error, man. You're erring. Erring, no, not knowing, man. What being Christ, being a Christianity or, or being in Islam is what? Error. That's an error, man. Read on. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. You don't want to hear about the Lord, man. That's why. Because you didn't want to retain God in your knowledge. You didn't want to keep the Lord's laws, that's your commandments. You want to do what you want to do. I know, you know, it, oh, so heavy. What's so heavy is this, man. It's like, people go against this, this Bible, right? They'll go against the laws of this Bible. And they'll say, 
for instance, oh, you can't judge me for sorry, I don't know, not wearing a beard. Just some random thing like that. And then what will happen is, and, and other, other things that they're pushing, you can't judge me for being this, you can't judge me for being that. Like, okay, homosexual, let's get to the point. Homosexuals now, people are saying you can't judge them. Lesbians, all that, what the Bible is against. They're saying you can't judge them, right? No one can judge, no, only God can judge them. Whatever sin you do, and you're saying only God can judge you. But if you allow, if, if, if there's no righteous men to speak up against the wickedness, if the men of the Lord are not here to speak against the wickedness, guess what? They're going to push next, and they're pushing, and it's coming, and it's going to happen. Child molestation. Right. Child molestation, man. Are you going to be happy that another man or woman takes your child and abuse them, man? Hmm? So if you don't speak against homo wickedness, men with men, and you don't speak against women with women, and you don't speak against animal cruel, uh, bestiality and all the rest, and you don't speak against idolatry and all of it, if no one's speaking against unrighteousness, you are opening up a big floodgate for all manner of wickedness. If your Christian church ain't speaking against child molestation, you understand? They're opening up the gates or homosexual, all those things. If they're not against that, they're opening up the gates for what, man? The floodgates for what, man? Next is you can marry your mother, the father, uh, that the son can marry the, the, the mother, the, the, the father can marry the daughter. Uh, what else? That's all Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Um, what else we've got? You can, you can, um, can marry your, your daughter. <laughs> Yo. This is where they will go with it if no one don't stand against this wickedness, man. Right. That's where they're pushing it to, man. That's where they're pushing it to. If you don't stand against it, if you don't speak, thus says the Lord, the whole earth is, will be covered. With, 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 there'll be nothing left, man. Right now, you got your wife and, and another man's like trying to get your woman. And the woman, sometimes, <laughs> the woman will just go ahead Right? And sometimes the woman will go, I've got a man, thank you. And he'll go, yeah, so I've got a woman too. What? I don't care, I've got a woman too. Like, what is that? Why would you want to lie with the next man's woman, man? That's homosexuality right there, man. Because the next step, what people don't understand is there's a process to everything. The next step to your life or down the road... And if it's not you, if it don't fall on you or fall on one of your, or your children, so like you're following your children, man. You're opening up the floodgates for all manner of abomination, man. Where there's there's no uh, uh, remedy, man. But give thanks for the ICPK. Since 1969, man, we've been bringing this remedy, man. Fuck. We've been bringing the remedy for the Black, Hispanics and Native Indians, man. And the other nations will get it once they, uh, once we are in power, man. One way or the other, either they will humble down or they will get smacked down, man. By the Lord, the spirit and power of the Lord, man. Christ is coming back with two million angels to put this earth in order, man. Because right now, the way our things are, everybody is, is wailing and, and, and crying right now, man. But the wicked is enjoying themselves for a moment, man. All right? Read on. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. To do those things which are not convenient. God gave them over to a reprobate mind, man. He gave you over to a, to a vile mindset, man. To do what? To do... Uh, let's work it. To do those things which are not convenient. It's not good. It's not convenient. It is disgusting. But you want to go You want to go your own way and do what the Lord says. You know what? All right, cool. I'll give you over, man. You know, I'm finished with you right now. I'm done. I'm through. <laughs> I've warned you enough. I've sent the prophets to warn you enough. Read on. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, mm. wickedness, wickedness, covetousness. Covetous, that, 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 these are ones that I didn't bring out. Covetousness, man. That's the, right, that one right there. Ooh, that, that, ooh, we, that one right there is like the, you know, you've got brotherhood, which makes everything, it puts things in order, sets things in order, and gives it strength. That, that covetousness is the opposite. It, it brings it, all forms of wickedness out. Right. It brings all. Oh, oh I don't, it shouldn't have that. It shouldn't have that uh, car. It shouldn't have that woman. It, it, you know what I mean? Oh, I like that woman. And and or oh, oh, just covetousness, man. They they'll do anything for money. Anything for money, man. You understand? 
They don't do anything for money, man. Read, read on. Um, maliciousness, full of envy. Envious, man. Wicked and envious, man. Envy, it's like being greedy for what's not yours, man. You envy someone else for what's theirs, man. Oh. Why don't you be content with what you got, what the Lord gave you, man? Why do you have to want someone else's? Hmm? Read on. Uh, sorry. Murder. Uh, sorry. Murderers and debaters, man. That's what we, the earth is full of today. Read. Full of envy, murder, debate, deceit. Deceit, debate, meaning you're going against righteousness and you, 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 you argue one another. You argue with one another in the earth, man. God. No one wants to hear nothing no more. Every day they get up, there's just, just arguments and, 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 and contentious, being contentious towards each other, man. Debating with each other. Read on. Malignity. Malignity, man. They hate each other, man. Read on. Uh, whispers. Oh. Backbiters. Mm -hmm. Haters of whispers God. Whispers and backbiters, man. And they hate the most our God, man. Read on. Despiteful. Proud. Mm. Boasters. Inventors of evil things. Mm? Inventors of evil things. They are inventors. It's like you. They are inventors, meaning they come up, their minds think on evil things. They invent wickedness in their mind. Whatever this wickedness may be, it's, it's, they invent that. Now, let's say, for instance, oh, I need some money, man. How do I get some money? Oh, I know. Let me get, let me get a gun and go and rob that shop. That's an inventor thought of, of evil thing, man. Just, right. just to make it simple, right? Read on. Disobedient to parents. I want to hear what their elders say. What their parents say. Same with Isaac. You can't no, no one to hear what the elders are saying. You know what? The, what the, that's why the, a lot of people don't come to the school. Why? Because they don't like to be checked. Oh. oh, no one can tell me what to do. Come on now. How are you going to fix? How are you going to be better? Read on. Without understanding. Because they don't understand. Though. Read. Covenant breakers. They, they, that's what they'll do, man. They'll, they'd love to break the covenant. Any, any agreement they make, they'll just break it. Right? That's how they are. Covenant breakers. Read on. Without natural affection. And they've got no natural affection. There's no real love, man. The love of this world and the love of the Lord is two different loves. Two different types of love. God. The love of the world is, what can you do for me? I've heard that before too. One time I was speaking to someone, man. Yeah, hey, what can you do for me? Listen, man. Love the Lord, man. He'll do it for you. He'll send someone else to do it for you. However, man. But do you understand? Read that again, Baba Kisha. Covenant breakers mm. without natural affection. The last bit for that to go. Uh, that was bullshit. Oh, read on, read on. Come back to it. Read on. Implaceable, mm. unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God. That they which commit such things are worthy of death. Listen, if you continue in that way, the Lord's giving you a way out. And um, that's the, under the blood of Christ, you understand? And repentance is, is the way you change and come away from being like that, you understand? Uh, read that last bit again. Who knowing the judgment of God. Right. Now when you hear this, you know the judgment of the Lord. That, that, like but they which commit such things are worthy of death. See, the wages of sin, even in the world, I've heard this, the wages of sin is death, man. That's what, you you know it's the wages, uh, it's death. Now you think you literally just die and that's it. No, man. There's more to it. There's, there's your judgment when you face the Lord, you understand? Read on. That, um, sorry, read on. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So you don't just do it yourself. But you take pleasure in those others that do it as well, man. You join them like you're all in the same boat. That's how the world is, man. That's why the Bible said before, it said what? Love not the world, man. Cool. Nor the things that are therein. They're covenant breakers, man. They're covetous, haters of one another. They love debates and strife and envy, man. Right. But not in the ICBK. On the commanding general, General Johanna, you understand? No debating here, man. No, no uh, uh, hatred in here. We've got brotherhood and we've got to love one another in here, man. All right, read on. That's it. That's it. Come on, what was that? Uh, Romans? Romans. Come on, get me Revelations 18 verse 4, Baba Kishore, all right? Because our people are already messed up now. You know, slavery, uh, we've been through a lot, man. We, we have been through the worst on the planet. You understand? The Bible says nothing has happened to any other nation that has happened unto Jerusalem, man. 
Understand and where Jerusalem, where Israel, where Mount Zion, man, where those nation of people, man. Right. You understand? Uh, the children of Israel, right? right. And so we have been in those uh, indoctrinated already. We've been in those philosophies. We've taken on Christianity. You understand? Which is what, man? It's uh, the mark of the beast. We, we we've been through all of this now. We the Lord wants us to return. You understand? How can two walk together, man? If the Lord wants us to walk walk with him man and how do you walk with the lord by coming in the icpk man and right. commanding general johanna you understand that's how you walk with the lord man all right. right got to be in brotherhood and sisterhood one of the same man understand that's how you walk with the lord now get uh so like you read that what's up to uh revelations uh four to five i will push out right okay. yeah, man. and i heard another voice from heaven saying come out of her my people you heard what another voice in heaven saying Come out of her, my people. The Lord is saying, uh, um, Revelations, uh, John, John, right? He's saying he heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. My people, man. Twelve tribes of Jacob, blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, you've gone into the way of the oppressors, man. You've been serving the creature more than the, more than the, more than the creator, man. Oh. And the creator is saying what? Read that again, Baba Kasha. Come yeah. out of her, my people. He said, come out of her, my people. The voice from where? Salaki. From, the from heaven. Same. Mm. That voice from heaven is the most high, man. Yahweh Shai and his son, Yahweh Shai, man. Saying what? Saying, come out of her, my people. He said, come out of her, my people, man. Read on. That ye may... Slacky, that ye may be not partakers of her sins. The Lord don't want you to take part in her wickedness, man. Remember, the ways of sin is death, man. The Lord don't want you to die. So he's giving you a way out. It's through the blood of Christ. Yeah, how shy, man? And coming back to these laws, I say, commandments, man, and doing them, man. All right? It says, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, man. Right. Read on. And that, slacky, and that ye receive not of her plagues. They have, listen, the, the creature, the oppressors are going to be plagued, man. God. And the Lord don't want you to be plagued with them. If you join them and you be on their side, the Lord's going to plague you too. Right. That's why I'm saying, come out of her that you be not receive, uh, but not partakers of her plagues, man. The Lord don't want you to die, man. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, man. But if you join your oppressors, you will go down with the sinking ship, man. Right. Babylon the Great is what? It's falling, it's falling, man. Become the, uh, paraphrasing again, become the habitation of devils and a cage of other foul spirit and unclean bird, man. It's gonna fall, man. It's destined to fall. As it is written, so shall it be done. It's destined to fall, man. So what? Come out of her before it falls. The, the most I have warning you, man. Come out of her, my people. Read on. That be not but that be not partakers of her sins, man. Read on. For her sins have reached unto heaven. The Lord's had enough, man. The sins have reached unto heaven. The can't you see you didn't do it? Can you not see what's taking place? Right. Everyone seems to know, man. He who has a mindset, a spirit, something about them, seems to know what's going on. Some, some, a lot of people can't really put their, their finger on it. But hearing that, that's why we need the school, man. ICPK, man. You understand? Right. Under commanding general Johanna, that's why we're here. The Lord is setting us up to do what, man? Go out and teach. Go out and teach, man. Show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob, their sins. Bring them back in, man. Return to the Lord, man. Come out of her, my people, man. We're trying to warn you so you don't get what she's going to get, man. What the creature, what Babylon the Great is going to get, you don't get it, man. The plagues that the Lord's going to bring it doesn't affect you, man. That's what we do. Just like when Moses uh, and Aaron went to Pharaoh to warn Pharaoh, let my people go. And the Lord, the Lord was plaguing Pharaoh. You understand? Sent plague to Pharaoh, but it, it didn't touch the Israelites that was keeping the laws, man. It didn't touch the Israelites that that that, that, that listened to the Lord, man. That right. obeyed, man. And at that time, it was none of the Israelites died. Why? Because it was all listening, man. Because the Israelites was in Goshen, in one place, one part of Egypt, man. Now, Israel today, in this time, in this Egypt, in spiritual Egypt, guess what? Israelites is there, and you got another Hamite over there next door to you. You got a, 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 a Chinese here, a Hamanite here, around, all around you. You understand? Right. But it was still come out of that people, come out of her, my people, man. The Lord will pass over your house. 
You understand? You won't allow the plague or the destruction to pass through your house, man. It'll pass over you, you understand, and, and protect you. Read on. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Right. All the rape, rob, murder, and, and everything that the so-called white man has done ever since he stepped foot in the earth, man. All the wickedness and abominations that they have sought out many inventions, the evil inventions that they've come up with. Guess what? The Lord has remembered all of her iniquity. You've forgotten, man. No, no, no. The Lord did not forget. And guess what? That's why they give you, they give you what? One month to worship, uh, one month to do Black History Month, and then they teach you to forget about your, your history. I was in the past, put it in the past. Listen, man, the Lord ain't going to forget. The Lord has remembered all her iniquities. Man. <laughs> Understand that. Right. Read on. Let's, um, let's That's read. it for Quran, um, right? Romans 12 and 2. Yeah, man, the Lord has remembered all of her iniquities, man. Book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. Don't conform yourself to <clears throat> the ways of the, the creature or the, or the ways of the oppressor. Don't conform yourself to his ways and what he does. All right? Don't conform right. yourself. Read on. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Change your mind. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You understand? You've got to renew your mind and refresh your mind. Now, how do you do that? It's very difficult if you're not in the ICP team. And if you're outside... And you know, you're just wandering around, you're not going to know how to do that. Come. You understand? We've got generals in here that will teach you how to reform your mind, man. Right. You understand? And build you up, man. You understand? We've got brothers in here, brothers and sisters in here that will uh, uh, teach you how to elevate yourself. You understand? How to change. Right? Read on. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. How do you know what's Good and acceptable and the perfect will of God, man. When you go into these this this laws, these this Bible right here, it's got laws in there, man. Right. The do's and the don't, man. And it's gonna make you perfect. That's right. You understand? The Lord wants you to be perfect, and it will make you perfect, man. When you do them, they'll make you perfect. If you don't, then you won't be perfect. Man. It's that simple, right? When right. you do these laws that's in commandments, it makes you perfect, man. Read that last bit again, Bible Kajal. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And that's how you know what God wants for you. When you do thus as the Lord, you know what God wants for you. Right. All right. Perfect, man. Read on. That's, that's it. Go on, right? Uh, Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3, 31 to 32, Baba Kasha, right? right? When you do right. thus as the Lord, man, it makes you perfect, man. And that's the will of God, man. That's the will of the Most High, man. Read on. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 31. Envy thou not, Slacker. Envy thou not the oppressor. What did the Bible say? Envy thou not the oppressor. Why, why are you envying the oppressor? He's oppressing you. That's what that's your your pastors in the Christian churches, man. They want to be, they look at Massa, uh, uh, and they, they look at the creature, and they want to be just like the creature, man. Right. That, oh, look at his suit and tie. I want to be just like him one day. Come on now. He's oppressing you and your people, man. God. He's oppressed you so much you don't even know that he's oppressed you. He gives you the crumbs which fell from his table after he's chewed up his, you know, after he ate his food and, and, and left his little bones on the side and little, uh, the, the leftovers. And then he gives you that. And you think, oh, he loves me. He loves me, man. At least he gave me the bones. I saw him put them in his mouth and he's, he's chewed up all the meat and everything. He gave me the bones, man. Gave me the crumbs, man. Gave me a little piece of whatever he's got, man. And now I want, oh, I want what he's got. Now I want, I want to be like him. He's a rapist. He's a murderer, and he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a uh, flipping homosexual. <laughs> he's all of those things, man. God. And you want to be like him? They're all wicked. Read on, you need to repent, man. And that's like that. That's a Christian church. That's the pastor in the Christian church today, man. They want to be just like him, man. Right. Come out of here, my people, man. Don't take part in that. Otherwise, the Lord ain't the Lord ain't gonna be pleased with you, man. And he's gonna plague them. And he's gonna plague you're gonna get the plague as, as well, man, because you joined with them, man. Right. Alright. One of the plagues today, I even mentioned it before, man, is the coronavirus, man. That's a plague from the Lord, man. The Lord is plaguing this place. Why? Because he wants you, black man and black uh, woman, Hispanic, native Indian woman, man and woman, to be free from the oppressors, man. 
Bro. That's what the Lord wants me. He wants you to have your own. How is it that every nation has their own? Man? Every other nation's got their own. Chinese got their own. Asians got their own. You know what I mean? Uh, <clears throat> Salakia. Um, all the nations have got their own. Right. The Africans have got their own. Nigeria and Ghana, they all got their own, man. Where's yours? Where's ours at? So called Caribbean people. Where's ours at? Where the Israelites, Black, Hispanics, and Native Indians, man? Where's ours? They're all around us, but yet we still ain't got nothing. And then what happens? We're so weak now, we all want to join those that have got, be like, oh, Ghana's got, I want to be a Ghanaian. Uh, Nigeria's got, I want to be Nigerian. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The Asians got, what was first? The first was uh, when the Muslims came here and they're like, oh, look how they carry themselves. Yeah, they've got it together. I want to be a Muslim. You can't do that, man. Yeah. And that's what that's what you've been doing and it's destroying your nation. And then the Rastas are, don't know what the hell, they, they're all over the place smoking weed and everything else and they've not got it together, man. So when are we going to get it together? None of those religions and philosophies can save us, man. This is the only truth, and it's coming out in the last days, man. There's a precept to that, but I can't, can't get it right now. But there's a precept to that, man. The truth is going to come out in the last times, man. So after you heard everything else, all the philosophies and, and rubbish, all, all the lies, hypnotized lies, right? Then the truth is going to come out. Right. And it's a test, because why? Are you going to really receive it now? Or are you going to stay with all those lies and philosophies? That's the question. We don't. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Don't envy him and don't choose none of his ways. Read on. For the fraud is abomination to the Lord. Fraud means wicked, man. The wicked is an abomination to the Lord, man. Crumb. Read on. But his secret is with the righteous. The secret of the Lord is what? Is with the righteous. Just like in the days of Noah, there was many wicked people. But who got saved in, in, uh, at the end of the day, man? Noah and his eight sons and their wives, man. Right. And his wife, right? The secret is with the righteous. Build your ark. The flood is coming. You understand? So for us here in the ICPK, we're telling blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians to come out of her, my people, as the Bible says, you understand? And and, and let's get it together, man. Gather my saints together. We're trying to gather you all together, man. Right. We can't gather with all nations. That's that's what Christian churches and these other 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 philosophies of of uh, um of, of, of religion does, man. Try to get everyone. In, in their thing under them. Come. But you all need to gather together with yourself. That's what the Lord says. Gather together on nation not desired. You're not desired by them, man. You go join them. You're under them. You're not equal to them. You're under them. Right. That means what? You're slave to them, man. You're serving their God and them, man. Give me the nigger God, man, because I'm serving the nigger God, man. I'm serving the God that looks like me and my forefathers and my father, man. You understand? Right. You understand? That's what's going on. Alright? That's what's going on, my reader. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, man. Right? Yeah. Right. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, man. Right. Right? What's the what's uh, curse of the Lord, man? Uh, those idols, man. Those idols, man. That's the curse of the Lord. Idol Christmas tree and, and, and all and the cover stone and the, and, the, and the stone cross and wooden cross and so like and, and, and the cover stone and all that's the curse of the Lord man. Oh. It's in the house of the wicked, meaning the other nations. Man. It's not in the Lord's house. It's not in here. You understand? This is the menorah, man. And this is how we this is our show for an X, Y, and Z. You understand? Right. But there's no curses from, from there's no idolatry from any other nation here, man. This is for Israel, by Israel, to Israel. That's Nothing true. else from no heathens here, man. You understand? Read on. But, he's, uh, like but he blesseth the, the habitation of the just. He blesseth. As you, um, even though you're looking at it small right now, yeah, we had it when we was a nation. Now what we're doing, we're building back up. You understand? So, you know, you might see us small now, but then this is what the Lord is going to continue to grow, man. Right. Uh, SEPK, you understand? So... His blessing is, read that last bit again, Baruch Hashem. But he blesseth the habitation of the righteous, he's, of the just. Like he's, blessing this ju he's blessing this right here, man. Why? Because it's just, man. Oh. You understand? Um, and just means what, man? It's justified, man. 
justified in the Lord. You understand what we're doing? All right, Ecclesiasticus. Okay. Ecclesiasticus chapter 12. <clears throat> Rabbi Kosha, 12 to... Uh, 12 verse 10, so after to 18. All right. This is the just. This is the house of the Lord. You understand? Yeah. Read on. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse... Thank you. Chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. The Bible said what now? Never trust thine enemy. That's what the word of the Lord says, man. It says never. No, sometimes. Never trust thine enemy. Listen, man. I, I know that's a hard pill to swallow, but it gets to the point like a arrow, arrow, dart, man. Fuck. Never trust thine enemies, man. Thine enemy, man. And enemies. Never trust thine enemy. The creature... The oppressor. Read that again. Never trust thine enemy. Never trust thine enemy, man. Black man, black woman, Hispanic, to native Indians. Read that again. Never trust thine enemy. Never trust thine enemy. Gather yourself together and stop trusting the enemy, man. Gather yourself together and stop pleasing the enemy, man. Gather yourself together and stop taking part in whatever the enemies do, man, and push, man. And gather yourself together, man. Never trust thine enemy, man. Listen to the word of the Lord. Read on. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. What, man? You got a nice shiny piece of iron today, and guess what? Tomorrow, or even in a minute, man, you start to see some rust come up on that, man. Why? It starts to change and become wicked again. Fuck. It's shiny for a second. And then it starts to change, man. Welcome you with a nice smile. Words is smoother than butter. And then what, man? The war in his heart starts to show, man. That rust starts to come out, man. Word. That's what's going on, man. Read on. Though he humble himself, I guess, though crouching. Wow. Woo wee. You understand? He humbles himself, though. Oh, how you doing, sir? How you doing today? Humbles himself, man. And he goes crouching, man. Like back in the days in the ghetto now, you got guys chilling and you'd find the odd one oppressors amongst us. And he humbled himself, man. He's like, cool, yeah, G, save G, yo, yeah, cool, yeah. We smoke weed together, all that crap, you know, what we used to do in the world, right? Huh. And guess what, man? He's only like that, humbling himself because he's by himself, he's amongst you, man. But the moment he gets a couple mil or something like that, you think he'll be around you, man? Smoking weed still. You got a couple mil or a couple or more than a couple mil. You think he'll really be around you? you think he'll be around us? Nah, man. He he'll be gone to meet his other fellows in the in the in the top class uh, seats, man. And then what? He'll start to he'll be, he'll be oppressing you. Then you'll be like, rah, I thought my man was cool, you know. No, he's not cool, man. Uh, and he can never be cool, man. That's right. He can never be cool. You you being uh, dumbed down and thinking he's cool, man. You're looking at him thinking, yeah, you know what, yeah, he, the nigger and the wigger, he's poor and I'm poor. No, you're poor because his people and his forefathers put you in that position of being poor, man. So they ro raped and robbed everything you had. Now he's amongst you thinking he's cool. Oh, he's, he's broke too. He's in the ghetto too. Nah, man. He's only in the ghetto because he's broke. But if he had any chance, he'll, he'll, he'll step on you and, and, and he'll be, get right. He's going to tell his enemies, man. Go on, read on. Yet, take good heed and beware of him. What the Bible say? Take good heed and beware of him. You better beware of that oppressor, man. Yeah, yeah, it's one of us. Gee, save, gee, save. Nah, man, you better take good heed and beware of him, man. And he's, guess what? He's going to be the one that, 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 that snitch, man. <laughs> be like, yeah, there's five of them and it's they, they, them, man. And then he, the, the, his people will move him to some other, some other area, man. Some other white area somewhere. Read on. And thou shalt be unto him. Read, as, it's like you read that again, man. And take, that, good heed, take, good heed. take good heed and beware of him. Take good heed and beware of him. He's not one of us. Read on. Eminem is not one of us. Who else has got uh, Eminem? And, you know what I mean? I did, yeah, go, uh, uh, that guy H. <laughs> H. Like H is not one of us. God. He raps like us, talk, he talks music like us, but he's not one of us. Take good heed, man. Read. Come on, what can. Uh, so like, yeah, they're out for themselves, man. As soon as they get up there, you ain't shit. Read on. 
And thou shalt be unto him as if thou wast white or looking glass. He can check him out too. You know, the only way to get away with it is because we've been dumbed down. We've been dumbed down from through 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 oppression. Man. So we don't really see how they really are. But if you if you're in this truth right here, you'll see that. You'll be like, ah, oh, okay. He's not as safety as he is, you know what I'm saying? As you think. Right. Because if something came, he's gone. Opposition came. Guy's gone. Opposition comes and he's grassing you up, man. Yeah, there was five of them. Opposition came, man. He's not that down to earth brother, safe G as you thought, man. Understand that. And he's only around you for protection, and he's also around you to to for, uh, to yeah to have your protection. Man, he's like, yeah, I'm down with them guys. No one can touch me. That's all he's there for, man. He's getting the benefit. Even when they're at the bottom, they're getting the, in their nation. You're at the bottom in their nation because they've put you down at the bottom. And then at the same time, he's at the bottom of their nation. You didn't put him there. But then he comes amongst you and all of a sudden, you and him has G'd up. But he's still in a better position than you. Right. And if y'all even both went and got a, went for a job interview, guess who's getting a job in? Why? Because you're the last hired and first fired one. Correct. Understand that, reader. And thou shalt know that his rust had not been altogether wiped away. Right, so if you deal with it like a looking glass, you just look straight through, man. Right? Just, 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 just act as if you wiped a looking glass and just check him out. And, you know, uh, what do they say? Medi, med, what is it? Meditate, medi, medi, medium or whatever it is. Penny him, penny him, right? Penny them and see if they're really changing. But how are you going to be able to tell? Only if you're in the, in the truth of the Lord. That's the only time you can tell, man. If you're in the worldly mindset, your mind is on a lower frequency, a lower level. You won't be able to tell if he, if he's if he's like those oppressors or not. You won't do Christmas and see what he says, man. Because remember, you are following the ways of your oppressors. He does Christmas, which is oppressive. <laughs> they oppress you in Christmas. Sold your children. Or gave your children as gifts to each other. He's doing Christmas. He's doing the ways of his forefathers. Would he do what you say uh, when you do the way? Set him not by.